Welcome back, everyone. We are starting a series of interviews to help you get ready for and breeze through tax season. Every Tuesday, watch us right here on Good Day Live for tax tips brought to you by the professionals at Stadler & Company. It may seem early, but now is the time to begin getting your paperwork in order to do your taxes. And to help every Tuesday, we'll be joined by the tax experts from Stadler & Company with special tax tips. And joining me today is Lori Carpenter. She's a regional manager of Stadler & Company. And Lori, I understand you guys have some big changes going on. We do. We have moved to a brand new building. And so we've been working on that for the last few months, and we're almost getting settled in. Let's talk about the main dates for filing this year. So filing season will open January 24th. It was a bit of a surprise that it'll be this early. But uh, so that's next Monday. We can start to file. And actually, in our office, we can, uh, we're on the test phase, so we can go ahead and submit returns while they're testing the software. Um, and then filing season will end on April 18th. So a little later than the 15th because of that DC holiday. Um, but at least it's a little bit earlier than the last couple years. It's crazy that we're already to filing season already. <laughs> Uh, what sort of paperwork should you prepare for this? So there's a couple things I would mention here. One is if you can list out all of your W-2s and income sources so you make sure you don't miss something, watch for all of those to come. I usually have a little envelope. I put them all in until I have everything. Um, and, but this year, if people have children and they receive those advanced child tax payments, they also need to be watching for a letter from the IRS. It's called letter 6419. And it will say, this is how much we think we sent you or uh, for that child tax credit advance payment and you need that to make sure it matches because if it doesn't match what they think they sent you and uh, you file it's going to delay your refund for months we have people who had uh, something like that last year with the stimulus payments and they're still waiting on their refund from last year you know with the stimulus payments some people have unemployment mm -hmm. you know the pandemic going on what are some advice that you could give to them as far as unemployment? Yeah. So I think with unemployment, uh, making sure that you have uh, all of your documentation related to that. Uh, one of the cool things is if you had premium tax credit and unemployment this year, you are uh, qualified to not have to repay any of that, even if your income would have normally exceeded it. Okay. Now, are there any incentives for Hoosiers this year? Well, Indiana is going to have something really nice. So they have found a surplus in the budget yet again. And so they have $125 per taxpayer. But it's not going to be on your tax return. You need to wait on that for a little while. So if you filed a 2020 return and you file your 2021 return this year, then after tax season and after that filing, they're going to send you those payments. And I have just a question. Let's say that someone, you know, you had 150 for, for couples and there were some certain brackets for the stimulus checks mm -hmm. uh, and they were going off previous time from 2020 taxes. If something changed from that year to this year, will people have to pay back or is there anything that will happen when they receive their stimulus checks for this year? The stimulus checks, if you received it, you should not have to pay it back except for some very rare circumstances like if uh, somebody was already passed away when, when it was sent out. Um, but generally, you don't have to repay those. There is a form again where you'll reconcile and say, this is how much I got and this is how much I should have gotten. And if you're owed more, you should receive that. All right. Well, if you want some great tips like this or if you just want the experts to do it, Lori can take care of you there at Stadler Tax Service. Now, the information is on the screen there, 812-478-2800. The website's on the screen as well. And another great place you can go to is mywallbashvalley.com. Click on the Good Day Live tab, and we'll have all the information for your Tuesday tax tips. And Lori, it was great chatting with you again today. We'll see you next week. Sounds good. Thank you, both of, both of you. Uh, Lori knows her stuff. She's very nice, very knowledgeable. Stadler & Company also wants to invite everyone to come out and see their new location. A grand opening is being held January 28th from 4 to 6 for folks to look around and see how Stadler can help you get through the tax season.